We're going to proceed to deal with the second crest. Uh, we're making preparations now, and uh, Dr. Mahoney will tell you what those are. What we'd like to concentrate on this week now is to make sure our 43 is solid. So what we're going to do is have Bruce Grubb's team uh, deliver sandbags into the neighborhoods and be prepared in a sense if we have to go to 44. What we're going to do is put pallets in all the neighborhoods where we have a sandbag reserve. We just got a report today of all the sandbags we have in the neighborhoods and uh, know how many sandbags we'll need in the area. We are going to meet with the neighborhoods, the team leaders in the different neighborhoods that are having contingency dikes put in or any special dikes put in uh, so they understand what we're doing and how it's going to be done. We are now going around with the Corps of Engineers and our engineering team, uh, Mark Bittner, and putting some contingency dikes in our areas just to make sure we're protected to the levels in which they talk about. Obviously, we want to protect the water plant in different areas of the community, so we may be putting some more contingency dikes just to be absolutely sure we're protected in our areas. The National Guard is down to 774 at the present time. They've cut back a bit because they have other duties north of us, so they are, they are doing that. And finally, I just wanted you to understand is when we get a report from the National Weather Service, there's about seven or eight factors that they go into to develop a crest issue. And uh, they forgot the Denny Walliger factor, which is he goes around and looks at all the areas and kind of sniffs out the river. So basically what we feel is that uh, we're probably going to get another forecast later this week that will help us out. Presently we've had good weather. Uh, we've been blessed by having good weather the last few days. And we're getting a slow melt and we're seeing a good uh, drop in the levels of the river. So we're going to be delivering sandbags uh, starting today to some of the neighborhoods after we get the information from engineering. So the materials will be out there in the field if these people have to uh, and we'll get the volunteers back hopefully to uh, raise the dikes if necessary. But as far as my parameters are concerned, you know, some of it becomes whoosh or it's going to go, some comes from my two daily trips down south and the experience in the past. And if it does go up, if I mean if it does go up, I will be the most shocked person in the entire community because uh, I've never seen that. Uh, we will be prepared if it comes back and if we have to go to 44, but what we'd like to do is uh, again take a little breather and get some, get everybody uh, refreshed a little bit. So uh, the, the day, uh, day's quote is be prepared. That's basically what we're going to be is be prepared and, and be ready to do what needs to be done. But we do rely totally on their predictions and we have to respond to those in a, in a manner that's both professional and uh, so we have to do that. Uh, is there any time of panic? It sounds like the weather is going to be extremely good uh, through Saturday. Uh, they're talking about another storm next week but thankfully the last storm went south of us, maybe this one will too certain amount of seepage and deterioration that go especially on some of the earthen dikes. So the Corps of Engineers will be going out and doing what they do best, and that's building some of the dikes and rebuilding some of the dikes and so forth. The water is basically off of them at the present time. I guess I thank you here all from the bottom of my heart for all you're doing now and in the tough days ahead. And I am so proud and so pleased to be here in the city of Fargo. North Dakota people are very strong, but when it comes to disasters, we are all one. Fargo is very, very lucky to have you as their leader because you care about the people. You have a big heart. That's what's needed. And my thoughts are with you and my prayers.